guys welcome back to my channel this is property talk with y'alls um, and for the regulars you guys already know we talk all things property investing and if you are new to this channel and this is the type of content you are into and you definitely want to learn from my mistakes then please just hit the subscribe button so what are we actually talking about today well if you currently own a property in a sectional title i.e. a complex or estate, or you are thinking of buying a property in a sectional title, then this is the video for you. So talking from experience, guys, sectional title ownership can be quite challenging. But I think one of the reasons that people buy into this sort of ownership or sectional title is because of security, right? We live in a country that is very unsafe. And I think as a young professional, the lock and go setup probably makes sense. Like, I don't want to have to worry about doing the garden or painting the outside of my apartment, etc. Like, nobody has time for that, you know? And I mean, I currently own two properties in this type of scheme, so i.e. a sectional title. And I think a lot of us buy into a sectional title and we don't even know what this means or what the implications are, right? And as I said, it can cause so much frustration, guys. I mean, do you even understand what living in a sectional title actually means? Do you understand what levies are and what you are paying for? Um, what about... A body corporate what is that and how does it work you know um, or maybe what are some of the things you need to consider when buying into such a scheme well if you are looking for answers to all these questions continue watching so let's start with a definition of a sectional title but I think in order to understand what a sectional title is let's first talk about a freehold or full title ownership so if you buy um, a freestanding house, this basically means that the land and the building belongs to you, right? So you own everything and you are responsible for the upkeep and the maintenance of your property. Um, and if you want to renovate or even build more, then you're also allowed to do that. Now, let's say you decide to buy a flat um, on the second floor of a block in a complex. If you think about it, it's impossible for you to own the land that the block is built on because other people um, on the same land will also own their own property in the same block. So you are on the second floor, there's someone else on the first floor and someone else on the third floor, for example. Um, so what did the government do? They created something called a sectional title. And what this means is that the block including the land is seen as one unit and you own a portion or section of that hence the term sectional title this means that you are part of a community and there are certain rules and regulations that you have to follow so to summarize um if you buy a flat in a complex you would own a fraction or a section of the whole block when it comes to freehold you own the whole thing, okay? You own the house and you also own the land that the house is built on. So I think now we're clear on what the difference is between full title ownership and sectional title ownership. Now, this is very important. Once you become an owner in a sectional title, you become part of the body corporate. Um, and essentially you are responsible with the rest of all the other owners to pay for the maintenance of the complex or estate, right? It's a group effort. Um, so we all own a section of this estate. So we all need to come together and take care of it essentially. Um, and this is where your levies come in. Normally levies are used to pay for the gardening, security, or just general maintenance of the property, right? Not for getting your insurance as well. Now, if you stay in a fancy estate that maybe has a spa and restaurants and pools, someone has to pay for the upkeep of all of that, right? And that, my friends, is why you pay levies. Now, let's talk about the board of trustees. Um, so the board of trustees, um, these people are elected at the AGM, which is your annual general meeting. And this meeting is open to all the owners in the estate to attend. Um, and essentially the body corporate, i.e. the owners, will vote for um, a board of trustees 
and these are people that they trust um, and they believe that they will run the finances and make sure everything is paid and functioning properly in the estate right now the board of trustees is not a paid job so essentially these people are just volunteering their time to run the estate essentially um what the board of trustees will do is they will open a bank account for all your wonderful levies that you guys pay every month um, and they will also ensure there's insurance for your property in case the building maybe burns down or there's an earthquake for example Sometimes though, um, if it's a very huge complex, the board of trustees will get external help, right, uh, to do all of this. Remember I mentioned that they are not paid and these people normally have full-time jobs um, and that's where managing agents come in, right? And basically they will control the payment of the levies, um, and they will handle that whole process, right? And basically the main, the managing agent, um, these are people who normally have a lot of experience um, and knowledge about the sectional title act um, and the board of trustees will then rely on them to collect the levies and maybe also advise on any legal matters. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. As an owner um, and a part of the body corporate, it really is in your best interest um, to attend the AGMs and any other meetings as you will know what's going on right, with your property, especially if you are an investor. You want to be able to have a say on the decisions around how the property is managed um this is your investment right this is money that you put in um, and you want to be able to have a say and control that now we understand what a sectional title is what the body corporate um, and the board of trustees do so let's quickly just talk about some of the things you need to consider or ask for before buying into a sectional title you gotta do your homework guys Please, ignorance is not an excuse. Um, buying property, and I always say this, buying property is not something that you just rush into. So please, man, see my darling. So we don't buy property for clout. We actually do our research. Um, the first point is you need to familiarize yourself with the legislation and the rules of that particular complex or estate. Yo, this is so important. This is so important, guys understand the rules ask for a copy and go through them and make sure that these rules actually work for you and your lifestyle for example what if you have a pet right and the complex doesn't allow pets or let's say you're the type that likes to host you know and have a grand time but the complex has a no noise after 8 p.m policy i don't know what then you know so make sure the rules of the complex fit your lifestyle or maybe you have a big family and lots of friends that like to visit, but there is dololo visitors parking in the complex. What are you going to do then? You know, I really think it's the small things that can make, you know, your life in a complex literally a living hell. Secondly, know upfront how much levies you are going to have to pay and what exactly you are paying for. Also, make sure you ask if there are any special levies that you have to pay for or if there is an anticipated large increase of the levies coming up maybe the following year. Sometimes people buy into a complex, levies are 500 rand, kum nand, we're all good. Next thing, the following year, the levies increase and they're like 1.5 because of X, Y, Z, right? Um, and the next point, um, not a lot of people actually do this, but you have to understand the body corporate financials. Actually go as far as asking for a copy of the financials. You want to know how the board of trustees manage the finances and what the levies are actually used for. So please do ask for a copy of the financials um, and maybe just ask your accountant friends to help you understand the basics and just like break it down for you, right? Now the next one, this seems like an obvious one, but visit the estate or complex before you buy, guys. Not once, not twice, maybe three or four times. Visit it during the week, during the weekend also. Make sure you visit at night and during the day as well. Why? The complex might be peaceful during the week 
and then all of a sudden during the weekend it's a whole party friday until sunday you know you also want to be able to discern what type of what type of people actually stay so is it young people mostly is it old people are there lots of kids in the estate because all these things will essentially affect your quality of life um living in the state so visit as many times as possible and also just talk to the current owners just to understand what the vibe in the estate is last point um uh, but also very important understand what you actually own in your section guys do you own the garden um if you have like a bottom floor you un- or ground unit Do you own the balcony? <laughs> That's part of your unit, you know? What changes can you make to the exterior of your flat? This of course will depend on what you actually own. So please don't assume, rather verify and make sure you are clear in terms of the actual physical building and which part of it you actually own. Some of these estates are very sneaky and maybe the ground floor gardens belong to the estate um and it's not part of the section that you own so just please be careful and verify all that information so uh we have come to the end um of the video i really do hope that if you watch until the end you have learned a thing or two um about owning a property in a sectional title there are some benefits of living in a shared community but i think that it can also be a very frustrating experience if you don't do your research and i always say this to you guys do your research i just have two more things left to say first one please subscribe and the second one smash that like button as well thank you guys for watching um and i'll see you in the next video ciao